This video has got the internet really mad. Basically, the story goes that this pro swimmer filmed this kid doing some dumbbell rows. She then posted it on Instagram, basically laughing at this kid and showing everybody how bad his form is. Now, as a professional athlete, you'd probably think that you'd have some sort of respect for the grind. Honestly, I don't care if you're a skeleton or morbidly obese. If you're trying your best every single day, then I, I have nothing but respect for you. Now, this girl was called out by Joey Swole, you know, that one guy that calls out bad gym behavior. And since then, this controversy has exploded. Since then, she also made a response on Instagram, basically writing a complete Lord of the Rings novel here. So we'll be checking that out later as well. The arrogant laugh as you film that kid to make fun of him is so sad, so disappointing to see. Does he have bad form? Yes, it's just a kid. In a situation like that, you have two options. You can politely approach him and ask him if he'd like some help. Then teach the young man. Show him what good form is. Or you can mind your own business. Filming him to make fun of him to post on social media is never an option. And you're a professional athlete. You should know better. And I DM'd you to tell you that and ask you if you think that you're better than people and you can do as you please because you're a professional athlete. Your response, yep, to lighten up. Really? Newsflash, being a professional athlete doesn't make you better than anybody or give you the right to treat people like this. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Okay, so let's just recap what happened there. Basically, she filmed this kid on a Monday morning, making fun of him on Instagram. After that, Joey Swole, this fitness influencer, DMs her saying the following, professional athlete and you don't know better than to film someone to make fun of them on social media? Lighten up, lighten up. So you think it's okay to film people at the gym and make fun of them on social media as if you're better than them? Got it. Yep, people are funny, especially kids. And I love to people watch and this makes my day. So right off the bat, that response is just pathetic. So basically you're saying you like to watch kids at the gym. Can you imagine if a guy was like, yeah, I like to watch little girls at the gym because I like to people watch. Please have some level of self-awareness and realize how absolutely creepy that sounds. Now let's just go over some of the points there. Number one, that is a kid, okay? Obviously, he's not gonna have perfect form the first time he's going to the gym. The whole point is that he's getting started really early, m much earlier than most people, and that's really respectable. And the fact that he's trying his best and you as a pro athlete are ridiculing him is beyond pathetic. You are literally a pro swimmer. People actually look up to you and follow you and respect you. It's not really a matter of lighten up, as you said, because, you know, I'm all for like fun and games and joking around all the time. I make a lot of jokes on my channel, but this is completely different because in this case, you're actually picking on a kid and you're just discouraging him from getting fitter. As someone who was personally very intimidated the first time I actually tried to join the gym, this is precisely the reason why. If you've ever gone to the goddamn gym yourself on your first day, this is how everybody looks. Nobody has good form and some people even after years don't have good form. If, if you asked me a couple exercises, I wouldn't even know how to do them. The right thing for someone in your position to do is either to teach them at, on that spot if you think they're doing the exercise wrong or to just mind your own business. I can't stress this enough, filming someone at the gym to make fun of them is bottom tier behavior. Imagine this kid watches this clip, seeing sees himself going viral on social media and, and just gets discouraged and says, okay, I'm, I'm not going to the gym anymore. You, you've pretty much kind of ruined his life there. Everybody starts somewhere and to mock them on that journey is just absolute degen behavior. Also wanted to clarify something. Some people have it completely wrong. They think that because I make some videos on the fat phobic community, they think I don't like them or something. It's not about them. It's the fact that they promote obesity and an unhealthy lifestyle to kids. Also, they do completely dumb shit like claiming discrimination for like not fitting in a plane seat. Now, if these people were actually exercising or open with all the problems that comes with being obese or telling their followers to at least exercise, I would have no problem with them. You gotta understand the message and not just blindly hate on people. Now, after getting absolutely toasted on social media for posting this kid online, she finally made her response on Instagram. I've decided to comment on the matter that has been bothering a lot of people, so here we go. People want to hate and they just need to be guided where to spread their hate and that was on me, okay? I know the kid and he's the funniest guy not giving a F when his coach is not looking. He didn't need any of my help because in the, he's in the swimming group with the other kids and a coach and he knows how to do the exercise properly. He's not disabled or sick, he's just a kid. I posted a video with the caption, me on a Monday morning, saying that I'm like this kid because I adore his I'm 
tired and I don't give a F energy. And even the video itself, I'm saying I love him. As I adore his I don't give a F energy, I'm definitely not giving a F about what people are saying about me. Gym is a public place where people can be filmed freely and is not in any way breaking the law. Okay, so basically your response to this is I know that kid, so none of this matters. I'm allowed to film him and post him online and laugh at his exercise form. You can already tell people are just not buying this. Dislike button, clown for real. You don't like all these comments, lighten up. You suck. I don't give a F what people have to say. It also posts a whole ass essay, which I'll show you in a second. She skips brain day for sure lies. Okay, I will say just the fact that you know this kid does not make this okay. Just because you are, you may possibly be friends. I don't know if you're making that up. Even if you are friends, he doesn't know what you're actually doing, that you're posting him on social media for everyone to see and laugh at. You actually have to understand how self-conscious people are who actually go to the gym, especially beginners. It seems you have completely lost touch of what that's actually like considering you're, you're you're a pro athlete now. She continues saying, I am on purpose not deleting comments and not making my page private because I believe that people can express whatever they want. It just shows what they truly are. Unfortunately, 99% of people are not only crazy, but stupid thinking the blogger who posted the video is really trying to do something good between selling his gym programs. She's talking about Joey Swole here. 99% of his followers are toxic humans waiting for a command from him to splash out all the poison they have without using their brains and thinking if someone actually did something wrong or not. He was threatening me to delete the video so no one will see it and then posted it so that more than 3 million people saw it. If he truly had good intentions and thought I was doing something wrong, he would have excluded the video so no one will see it. As I said, I love to people watch and it was an amazing journey for me to people watch this craziness. People watching, you know, I love looking at little kids. People watching, right? Anyway, she goes after Joey Swole here, who's possibly one of the most positive influencers uh, on the internet, period. He's not really toxic at all. I mean, people call anybody who criticizes anybody on the internet completely toxic. I've, I've gotten called toxic a bunch of times, but it doesn't really mean anything coming from people like you. We got the classic here. Most of the hate came from grown ass men. That's that's right. Only grown ass men are angry at me bullying this goddamn child, which is surprising for me that people in their 30s, 40s don't have a life and that men are actually more cruel inside than women. What are you on about? <laughs> I don't owe an apology to anyone because I didn't do anything wrong. On the other hand, people called the kid disabled and whatever, so make your mind around that. Okay, so some people were also calling the kid disabled, saying that, oh, my son does exercises in a similar manner, so I thought this kid might also be disabled, which appears to not be the case. The kid is happy, I'm happy. If you're not happy, write a comment, but don't think anyone cares. It's nonsense to me that I even have to explain such obvious things and lighten up because life is about being happy and not taking yourself too seriously. Also. I'm not buying that at all. Like the kid is happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's being happy just being shamed on social media. My guess is that he's probably just afraid of you, honestly. Anyways, guys, always remember to respect people who actually put in the work. Now click this video or I bench press my one rep max, 6,000 pounds, obviously.